Hello, yes, and welcome to this week, experimental week. Put the emphasis where you want. I'm going to colour a piece of sapili today. I have had it for nine years, so it's dry-ish, probably. I'm expecting stains to have very little effect. Paint should work. Coloured waxes, well, they should work too. So no finished piece this week. Just me slapping paint on a piece of wood or stain or wax seeing what it looks like and seeing if I should do a bigger project with a darker piece of wood. Hope you enjoy it. So into the chuck. You need to make sure you tighten this up sufficiently so that when you tighten the blank on it doesn't spin. And that's why I'm going around using each of the pinions to tighten it up. I don't know why I'm starting this project now, because I'm due to go in and have my uh, butter beans in tomato sauce. Mm. In, in two minutes time. Get a move on, Stuart. Two minutes to six. Six o'clock. See you later. Okay, so I'm back from my supper and delicious it was. Just a few quick shots of me getting this bit of wood ready for um, doing some colour experiments on. Not a fantastic shape, but I wanted to keep it as big a piece of wood as possible um, before it gets treated so cruelly by me. Now this is yellow spirit stains, my usual combination, my favoured combination. Yellow, orange, red and a bit of black. And you can see the yellow is making a difference, even though the wood itself is probably darker than the yellow. Bit of orange going on, not quite so a heavy coverage, not so uniform, trying to get a sort of mottly look going on. It really doesn't respond in quite the same way as as it being on a lighter piece of wood but it does add some warmth to it you can see it's changing the color um, against the uncolored wood at the top of the picture there uh, a bit of red and a bit of black as well just to uh, you know run through the colors see what happens um, maybe a bit heavy-handed with the black but I was more interested in seeing how it actually took the stain and black I would have thought it would have taken very well which it does a um, bit of yellow there to try to cut that back remember the stains will start to dissolve each other um, and some yellow over the black although it might seem like it'll just get lost it, it will actually um, have an effect on the black as you can see there decided have I taken too much black off better put a bit more on are you listening Roger uh, right, so there we go. Um, that's pretty much the stain done. Second lot of uh, colouring was an Arbitec putting some texture on and then one of the rainbow waxes. And I managed to forget to record it, so I've had to use some CCTV footage as a quick fill-in here. And third option was some of the chestnut iridescent paints uh, yellow going on first not with the brush just a paper towel no fancy art equipment needed just dabbing it on patting it on and as as it starts to dry on the cloth I pat a little bit harder you can see I've got quite a lot of the wood covered there next is red yellow and red lovely combination real warm metallic -y, glowy kind of feeling coming through I probably put too much red on don't I never mind I put some more yellow on in a minute uh, but this really does stand out against the against the dark wood and looks uh, very uh, very eye-catching there needs to be uh, I think a sympathetic relationship between the color you put onto the wood and the wood itself 
Um, it might might make a video one day, but I've got a blue paint platter that I've been working on where the blue doesn't quite work with the wood tone, I don't think. And finally, um, a little bit of gilt cream. I probably need to put a little bit of white spirit in my gilt cream and thin it down a little bit. It's got a little bit dry in places. But if you wanted to just add a sort of subtle shimmery sheen to your wood, then that's the thing to go for. And just cutting off the top now so I've got some of the uncoloured wood as a clear reference point against the technique that I've used. Right, let's get it out of the chuck and uh, see what we've got. I'm going to keep it on the screw chuck. You're over there, aren't you? I'm going to keep it on the screw chuck. <laughs> this might get one of these treatments all the way round. Well, actually, you know, let's start off with the stains. They do have an effect. Absolutely have an effect. Uh, you can see it there against the wood. Certainly it darkens it. There is some of the colour showing through. Coloured waxes, well, that's not a surprise. Uh, they're quite thick and pasty, so they should, um, should stand out. Um, the paint, a uh, couple of chestnut iridescent paints gone on there. Red and yellow. I think that's my favourite one. I really like that. Maybe with some fine black crackling over it. Maybe overkill. And then the last one that I tried, just a little bit of gilt cream. Well, well that livens it up a little bit. I'll put a picture of each of these up. Like I said at the beginning, this isn't a completed project. Although I'm getting increasingly drawn to making platters with lots of different colour effects going on at the same time. I keep doing them in demos I've been doing recently and thinking, oh, I quite like that mixture of five different techniques on one rim. Too many colours, too many techniques. You bet it. You, you bet it. You betcha. Uh, yeah, that's my favourite. Thanks for watching. Wrong camera.